Hey guys, Bob from Red Hill Tactical coming at you. Uh, special request review today. Uh, four guns, head to head, some of the top stuff. Some of it you might not have seen. Check back for the whole thing, watch the whole way to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, guys, so here we go. Review of the request. This is by one of our sponsored shooters and a couple other folks. So what we're doing today, we have the DWX Compact with its lightweight aluminum frame, shorter barrel. We got gun one. Gun two, we're taking the DWX full-size steel frame. Significantly more weight. So what we're going to do, we know both these guys are single action. We know both of these guys have very nice safeties on them we know both of them have great triggers so we're going to take dwx head to head then because my sponsored shooters are always like bob you should do more because they're never happy with what i do to start with because they love me and they're like you can do better and so i'm like okay so what more so more we're then going to throw the new cz shadow 2 compact in the mix again this is aluminum frame gun a little bit lighter, designed for carry. This one has an optics cutout. So the two damn lessons, neither one of those come ready from the factory with an optics cut. Kind of a disappointing thing, but great guns. Um, notice again, this can either be fired and treated like the damn Wexen, cocked and locked, or you can have the double action first strike that the Shadow 2 is famous for. So we have that option on the Shadow 2. And then just because we had the full-size Dan Wesson, we're going the full-size Shadow 2 optics ready. Now, guys, I'm going to throw this out there because if you, I don't know if you can see on the videos, but these guys are covered in Kydex dust. So many of these guns are actually guns we use in the shop to test for holsters. They are our guns. We've bought them. We paid cash for them. So keep watching for the review. Have a good one. Dan Wesson, DWX full size. Let's see how this tracks. Dan Wesson, DWX, same ammo the SIG 226 didn't like. Um, this gun sprung a little bit lighter. Um, really smooth shooting gun, single action. We'll talk about in the review. So again, Dan Wesson, this is DWX Compact. A lot of you guys probably haven't seen these yet. This is pretty phenomenal. See how this one does. A little bit snappier, obviously. You can see the difference. You can see the muzzle rise. I can certainly feel a little bit. Dan Wesson, DWX Compact. Okay. CZ, Shadow 2, optics ready. Shadow 2, optics ready. A lot of weight in the front end. Uh, really gu easy gun to control. When it's in single action, after you fire the first round, trigger's really cr cr smooth. We'll talk more about this in the wrap-up. CZ Shadow 2 Compact. I'm using a full-size mag, so it's going to stick out the bottom a little bit. So if you have full-size Shadow 2s, you can still use the same mag. Just be careful with them. So interestingly, I don't notice the snap as much off of this as I did off the DWX Compact. We'll talk more about that in the review. All right, wrapping up on the CZ Dan Wesson comparison that everybody's asking for. Um, so first off, let's talk the standard full-size Dan Wesson. It's probably my favorite one to shoot out of the batch. I really like how the gun returns. I like the weight. Very, very solid gun. The single action pull is amazing. Safeties are in the right spot that I can ride them. Like, I, I'm a 2011 guy. A lot of you guys know that. So, overall, this would be my top pick out of the batch. My second pick out of the batch is obviously the full size Shadow 2. Again, the problem is you're talking a gun that you're not going to carry. This gun is a little bit more front heavy. It tracks a little bit better. But the one thing I didn't like about the Shadow 2 compared to the Dan Wesson is the fact that it's a little bit more front heavy. Okay? So, this gun comes optics ready. The Dan Wesson does not. So if that's playing into your, your game, you're not going to want to look at the Dan Wesson right now. I think they got an optics ready up the pipeline, 
but nobody knows for sure. Uh, big difference in the guns. Concealed carry. I'm going to take the Dan Wesson over the uh, Shadow, Shadow 2 Compact for one reason. My hand actually fits on this gun a little bit better. The Shadow 2 Compact, my hand hangs off. Again, if you're a dot guy, you're going to sh shift more towards that Shadow 2 Compact as the Shadow 2 Compact comes with a dot plate already on it, ready to go. Trigger's phenomenal on both guns in single action. I can get on top of the safety still in the Dan Wesson. The Shadow 2 has the slim safeties. I can't really get on top of them. So overall, I think out of the two compacts, uh, I would take the Dan Wesson. I, the only thing I don't like about that gun is the front sight is a really, really thick combat front sight. Takes up a lot of, if you're shooting at smaller plates, takes up a lot of the plate, takes up a lot of the target. So there we go. You guys have your chance. Look at the video. Uh, you can compare the recoil of them. Obviously, this is probably the snappiest one of the four. It's the lightest of the four. Um, but, I mean, that's what you trade off when you go to the carry gun size. Thanks, guys. Like us and subscribe.